chronically blue. Hello, my sleepy bears. My name's Chronic Blue. Welcome to Sonic X Shadow Generations. Now, unfortunately, uh, I kind of went through and uh, played the played a little bit of it. And I thought I was recording. Turns out I wasn't. But that's okay because we actually get to see quite a bit, including the prologue animatic. phenomenon that occurs when the solar winds interact with the Earth's magnetosphere. You can only see them from certain latitudes down there, but up here, we can see the whole... the whole... Maria. Thank you. I just pushed it a little. That's all. The low gravity here only keeps your condition in remission. You should know better than to exert yourself. I know. You're right. But when it comes to the beauty of the Earth, I can't help myself. I can't wait for the day when we can finally return. I was created here. I don't know if there's a place for me on Earth. Professor Gerald made me the ultimate life form. I should be the key to all manner of medicines. To curing you. Grandfather, are doing your best. I'm just as happy to spend time with you here while you both research. This isn't right. This is the Guardian Units of Nations. Prepare to be boarded. The soldiers. They storm the Ark. Destroy all evidence. But it's too soon. It's happening too quickly.
Professor, we must... was no mere nightmare. And it all began in view of the Ark. Could he have survived? No. That can't be. I need answers. the files. Did you find the sample Grandfather wanted? Shadow? Are you alright? Maria, I'm fine. It's just... The Professor created me using alien DNA. The Black Arms, he called them. The same DNA as this... larva. This... Ugly, heartless creature. I may look like a hedgehog, but I'm really no different than this thing. That's not true. You have a big heart. It may be difficult for you to express it, but I know that deep down, you really do care. About me. About everyone. I can still feel it. Sense it. We are connected somehow. What you do is what defines you. I know you're having a hard time finding answers, but I'm certain you will one day. Then, you'll find even more people you can trust. Didn't expect to see you here. Ruth, what are you doing here? Just gathering some intel for Gun. I convinced Omega to be my backup. What's your story? We need a spacecraft to reach the Ark. I have reason to believe the Black Arms have returned. I call dibs. Take it out. saying 
conquering aliens are coming back to destroy us all? I can't be sure. I'm relying on an old connection. That's why I must reach the Ark. Well, you're out of luck here. This is just a supply depot. But I do know where we can get you a spacecraft this time of night. Interested in raiding a gun base? <laughs> Whatever it takes. I know just the place, but it'll cost you. What do you want? Once you're done with your mission, you have to hurry back and join me at Sonic's birthday party. Oh, why? Because the look on both your faces will be priceless. <sighs> I'll take that as a yes. And what about you, big guy? Eggman robots, gun robots. The distinction is irrelevant. I will prove I am the strongest combat robot. And we have plans for the evening. Let's move. Oh, this is impossible. <laughs> it's pathetically easy. Shut up. What do you know? You're just a monster anyway. Abe, don't be mean. But he is. I saw the professor make him with that alien. Shadow isn't a monster. He's special. He's my friend. And it breaks my heart you two don't get along. I'm sorry if I upset you, Maria. And Abraham. Yeah, sorry, whatever. Thank you, both of you. When we return to Earth, I hope we can all still be together. Gun funded the research that created you. Yes, they wanted the ultimate weapon. And when they got you, they sealed you away for 50 years. My point is, don't get too caught up on any vendettas tonight. Gun is not my enemy tonight, just an obstacle in my way. <laughs> Good. The spacecraft is on standby. I can initiate the launch protocol from here. You can fly that thing, right? Of course. I am the ultimate life form. Unless that shoots you down first. An LZ-12R Blue Falcon. <laughs> they must be really scared. Cover Shadow until I get him launched. I'll give you the coordinates for another Eggman base in return. This exchange is acceptable. Come, Shadow. Let us ruin their night. to destroy it. <laughs> Shadow to Rouge. I'm in position. 
Copy that and initiating launch. Omega, hurry! You have to take out those guns! This is Commander Abraham Tower. All forces stand down. Tell you requested. And aided in the destruction of millions in gun assets. Sorry, but Shadow needed some help saving the world. If that's the case, despite all that's passed between us, he saved the world from Black Doom. He should have known I would have supported him if he asked. When has Shadow ever asked for permission? You could have talked him down, Rouge. <laughs> There's only one person who could ever do that. True. And she was lost to us a long time ago. When we can start our new lives on Earth, we'll see all the world has to offer and learn all there is to know firsthand. Won't it be lovely, Shadow? Maria, I don't know if it will be right for me. I'm not like you. What if I can't find where I belong? I believe in you. With your courage, you can do anything. And if you ever have trouble, you can always count on me to help you. Stop. There's no point distracting myself from, from such foolish thoughts. I need to focus Besides, on the mission at hand. And life was taken from me long ago. All that's left for me is an endless line of battles. I thought I'd left my past behind me. A threat lurks aboard the Ark. Hunt and I must Trump. eliminate it. Support the arc. And I must eliminate it. Wow, that was beautiful. That was absolutely fantastic. So I watched the animatic for it and then I watched the actual thing. The animatic was way longer. Um, uh, listen, it's already one, it's almost 1.30 for me. Uh, I have not gone to sleep yet. So there's a lot for me to do with that. Uh, if I decide to patch it together, I might be going to bed at 3 a.m. But you know what, it, it, it might be worth it for all y'all. I don't know. That being said, we can't have the first episode just be the intro movie that is only exclusive to PlayStation people. Can't have that. When we can start our new lives on Earth, we'll see all the world has to offer and learn all there is to know firsthand. Won't it be lovely, Shadow? Maria. Be right for me. I'm not like you. What if I can't find where I belong? I believe in.
than you. With your courage, you can do anything. And if you ever have trouble, you can always count on me to help. Alright, alright, cool. Now that we've done that, let's see Shadow's actual story, or what everyone else sees when they get the game. Fifty years ago, aboard the Space Colony Ark, the genius Professor Gerald Robotnik sought to create the ultimate life form. He called his creation Shadow. Shadow was raised alongside Gerald's ailing granddaughter, Maria. They were inseparable. A series of tragedies befell the Ark. The military sought to cover everything up. They took the Maria. lives of Gerald and Maria and sealed Shadow away. Fifty years later, Shadow was awakened. Filled with anger and sadness, he was haunted by Maria's final words to him. Shadow, I beg of you. For all the people. Shadow was bent on revenge and sought to destroy the world. At the last moment, Shadow remembered Maria's final wish to protect her beloved planet and all who lived there. There were more secrets to Shadow's past. Shadow was generated from the DNA of the evil alien conqueror Black Doom. Shadow didn't understand why Black Doom expected him to be the vanguard for his invasion of Earth. After many battles, Shadow crushed Black Doom and his forces, finally breaking free from his past. Shadow the Hedgehog, the lone dark warrior who judges the world by his own code. The past will return to haunt him. Yeah, thanks, dear. Okay, so. As I said before, I already started playing the game. Uh, we're just gonna go and overwrite that because for me to go through and try to like paste it all together, uh, it'd just be an absolute mess. So here's more story because we haven't had enough story yet. And welcome to the first level. So here we get to see, that's right, Final Rush, which is just absolutely fantastic. Look at how beautiful all this is. I know you've been wondering, when is this person going to start talking? And you know what? Here I am. <laughs> I can't just do a bunch of story and leave y'all with nothing to go off of. Come on now, who do you think I am? Now I will say in the little faux episode I did, uh, it was definitely a lot more uh, gameplay oriented. Yep, we're gonna go back actually for that. There we go, that's why right. we have collection keys now. 
What do those do? I will happily show you as soon as we finish the first level. But I'll just let you know that uh, there's a lot to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it's it's not bad. They did a lot of good things with this. Those are some bad things. But, you know, you can't have to go without the bad. You know? So, just got to take it where you can. Now, you can only get the collection keys in levels. So, you know, just keep that in mind before you're all like, you know, oh, well, let's go and do this now. Let's go through, make all this happen. Let's be the absolute best like no one ever was. Catch them as my real test. Train them as my cause. Ow. Now, it seems like for the S rank, it is uh, almost solely based on just the time, which I'm completely fine with. You know, the game is quite literally all about going fast. So, if I can make that happen, I'll be quite alright. As well as it doesn't really seem too horrible with the uh, time requirements that they have. But, again, I think we'll be just fine. Uh, matching all that. In fact, we just got the second collection key, so we know that we're doing pretty well. Now, you might see the little chaos control thing there. Yeah, that's going to be quite important. Not only does it actually allow us to freeze everything, it also allows us to find secret pathways and such throughout the stages that we typically would not see otherwise. So all that really comes into play. It was very handy, and it is quite vital in order to get some really good time from the game. That being said, I hope you haven't had enough of the cutscenes, because we have another cutscene coming up kind of soon, actually. <laughs> uh, if you ever played a boost rush form, uh, game before, you kind of already know like what all to expect. Just a bunch of uh, dodging, jumping, flipping, uh, whole nine yards, just doing everything you possibly can in order to make it the absolute best. Now we are able to actually grind as well as crouch and whole nine yards. So anything that you've known from Unleashed you can safely assume that's going to be here as well. Oh no. That's fine. Wasn't really looking for the world there, so no, it's okay if you fail. I don't need to be the best player. I just need to be, like, not the worst. Actually, here is one of the little shortcuts for the Chaos Control. I mean, using the Chaos Control, it actually does freeze the timer as well. So you're not just completely left alone being like, Uh, what do I do now? I'm just wasting time. No, you're not. So here, this looks a lot like Radical Highway, which I am so excited for. That That's essentially Shadow's Green Hill Zone, which is not saying a whole lot <laughs> because it only, it only appeared in very, very few games. But then again, Shadow's only had a few games that he's been in, let alone been the main star of, so. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna be very careful about how I do this. I guess I gotta press jump a little bit faster. There we go. I figured I figured it out. At least I had a good hunch that I figured it out. Now here, we actually going to go ahead and just wonk, wonk, wonk. Wonk, wonk, wonk. What? So what I was tracking was 
him. I won't let him escape. And there we go, that's the end of the first level. And just with that, we got an S rank. We only got two of the little icons, but don't worry about it, it'll be fine. the doctor's plans hmm. even I have a hard time distinguishing between the two of them Hi, Omega. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so unlike regular Sonic generations, we get bolts here, or machine parts. They might come in handy if we collect them. As well as, there's going to be a lot of different things around here. Uh, first of all, we get to move in a 3D area. You know that ha does not happen unless you are actually in a stage in regular Sonic generations. As well as, there's going to be these little boxes around here where you can unlock them with little icons that you get throughout the stages, such as Sonic Adventure Part 1. We can check it out in the collection room. Now, there's going to be little trinkets and suitcases and whatever all hidden throughout. So, it might be a little annoying to have to go through and try to find it all. But I promise you, it is going to be worth it, especially if you've gone ahead and collected the little trinkets that you need to in order to make it happen as is. That one is actually artwork. So there's quite a few different ones. The yellow one is going to be music. The blue one's going to be artwork. The green one's going to be a movie. You're here too. I was hunting Dr. Eggman's latest super weapon when it unleashed a temporal, a temporal anomaly. That's nice. Now, what is this little thing? Well, we don't know what it is. So we're just going to go ahead and move on to the next stage of Space Colony Arc. And while the first stage is going to be 3D, the second stage is going to be 2D, actually. Which means that we are going to be having a fun time of just jumping around like a madman, just trying hard in order to uh, get the best possible route each and every single time. Ow. Yeah, just run into them, Shadow. That'll work perfectly. But yes, anyone that has played uh, any Boost Formula game knows that it's going to be quite a bit in order to make sure that you get everything going and uh, get everything in the first place. So there's going to be quite a bit of replays in order to make sure that you get everything, and that's going to be okay. You know, the game was meant in order to not exactly be 100% in the first get-go, but, you know, to be enjoyed, uh, have it be researched thoroughly, and find all the different little quirks and such that you possibly can throughout here. As well as we have the little barrels! That's right, returning from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, as well as over here from... Yeah. Actually gonna... Yeah. <laughs> as well as... Uh, Shadow, come on now. Nope! Ugh. Shadow, you're killing my vibe here, man. Wow, they are somehow even more tricky to figure out than previously. There we go. 
I know the collection key doesn't really matter because, well, I'm, I'm probably going to have to go through and collect them all anyway. But still, it's nice to try to eliminate the mess and haste where I don't need to. In fact, there's actually another collection key. Look at that. We. As well as, we can now use the triangle button in order to shoot little lasers out of us in order to try to open up different doors and such, but it's only available for specific areas. So don't go around thinking that you can use it as a weapon, it's specifically to open doors and that's about it. Which, you know, why not give us something else in order to focus on as we are going through the stage as fast as humanly possible, or hedgehoggedly possible, I guess. Uh, let's actually try to go up here. Nope, can't do that. No, okay, cool, that's okay. But yes, the little areas are definitely going to play you off quite a bit, so until you get the hang of it, you're more or less going to be messing up a little bit, running into walls and such, but you will figure it out. It'll be okay. Now we get one of my favorite power-ups. So we can hold R2 to glide in the air, which I am definitely going to use uh, like my life depends on it, because I love this super thing. Just being able to like glide on through and not to worry about stuff, absolutely fantastic. Makes everything so much easier. Plus, again, you're invincible, you don't have to worry about stuff. So you, if you see a path of rings, you know, hey, you're good. Now, I know that you cannot use it on the Artificial Chaos, unfortunately. Why, I don't really know. But that's just kind of how they are. So, you know, just got to take it at uh, face value, more or less. Chaos control. And with that, we have gone ahead and obtained the ring. Ooh, it looks like we did not make it for that rank. Not to end nine seconds, all that stopping and stalling at the barrels. What was that new power? I've never done anything like that before. It's not something I should normally be able to do, yet it felt natural. What could be causing these mutations? Okay, so once you have completed both stages, you then get access to Doom's Gear. Uh, so we can turn around and see this little weird egg-shaped tower right here. Which we can press the button and we can activate Doom's Gear to give us a new ability. In this case, there's the Doom Spears.
So what do the Doom Spears do? Well, by holding triangle, we can actually lock on to five targets at once, release it, and we'll be able to open it up in order to find some new stuff. Now, through that little area, there is going to be stages and whatnot, uh, specifically an upcoming stage that I actually had a lot of fun going through and playing. But uh, at this point in time, I've it, it's almost 2 a.m. at this point. I, I work in the morning. But we got a new collection item, got artwork number 10, which looks like it was artwork from Sonic X. Which, if you actually watch Sonic X, I apologize. You're not going to find a lot of funny moments in there. Then again, I never really picture Sonic as comedy, but still, it kind of helps a little bit. It's just very unique. I feel like that's the best expression to use there. But yeah, you are more than happy to go ahead and look around, find whatever little trinkets and doodads you possibly can. Uh, there's a few music boxes going to be hidden around here. Like that one, actually. Or we could fall off the side. That also works, I guess. Let's go ahead and see what this one is. You got Vengeance is Mine for Radical Highway. We can check it out in the collection room. Which, speaking of the collection room, let's go ahead and show that off as well. Now, there's not a lot here, because, you know, we just started. But that's okay. So we can see movies such as uh, the intro things, and that's about it. We can see characters, just little uh, character biopics. There's only seven of them. We can see Shadows Past here, where we can uh, see Sonic Adventure 2 Part 1, which I want to assume that it's probably going to just be cutscenes from the game. And of course we got music. So for the music, we get the music that we unlocked at the game, but then we also have a bunch of the bonus DLC music that you get for pre-ordering the game, like I did, aside from the little costume that Shadow gets well. We have Throw It All Away, This Machine, I Am All of Me, Waking Up, The Chosen One, All Hail Shadow, Never Turn Back, All Hail Shadow, Crash 40 Version, Big difference. Sonic Boom, Super Sonic Racing, Open Your Heart, It Doesn't Matter, Live and Learn, Sonic Heroes, What I'm Made of, His World, Seven Rings in Hand, Knights of the Wind, Sonic Speedriders, Ungravify, Free, The World Adventures, Orchestral Theme, Reach for the Stars, Wonder World Title Theme, Fist Bump, Egg Gate, Arsenal Pyramid, Luminous Forest, Metropolitan Highway, Fighting on Word Space, Port Nowhere to Run, Prison Hall, Justice Park Avenue, Moonlight Battlefield, Aqua Road, Fading World, Imperial Tower, Green Light Ride, Frozen Junkyard, Sand Road, Thunder Attack, Dark Arsenal, I am here, Undefeatable, Breakthrough It All, Find Your Flames, Cyberspace 1-2, Following, Cyberspace 1-5, Dry Hopalik, Cyberspace 2-4, Hyper Hype Street, Cyberspace 3-6, Enjoy This Road, Cyberspace 4-3, Rumble Rave, Second Wind, Sonic Movement, and that is all of the DLC ones. <laughs> anyway, aside from that, we also have the artwork that we unlocked, which we're able to go ahead and view some of the artwork as well as some of the additional artwork that we get just for, you know, having the game. Uh, there's going to be a lot of artwork that is going to be hidden throughout this, but that is okay. Don't forget, along with all the Shadow Collectibles, there's also going to be more collectibles as well. And right here we have Gerald's Journal, which I have not opened up yet, actually. So we can see the front cover, which is exterior, then there's going to be 15 pages, one of them being the back cover. So it's going to be 13 pages all in all. Uh, that's about it. Until then, until we unlock though, that's, uh, that's all we get. But, anyway, I feel like I've definitely done my part, and I'm going to be doing my part way more as I uh, push together the two things, trying to find any differences in them. Uh, trying to put it all together because it definitely feels like the one that was fully produced had a lot less stuff going on than the little like uh, Faux animated version, so you know here's hoping That's all secret the same and that my little bathroom break halfway through did not actually mean anything But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you all next time with more Sonic X Shadow Generations. Goodbye my CB Bears!